This December 1st marks the 23rd anniversary of World AIDS Day. But for the first time, it will also launch Aboriginal AIDS Awareness Week. The opening event was held today. It is a forum between doctors, teachers, youths, and community leaders. One of the keys to AIDS education in Aboriginal communities is reducing the stigma that surrounds the disease. The stigma makes it so that it's difficult for a person living with HIV to stand up and say, here I am, I'm living with HIV, and here's what I'm going through, and here's how you can help us. So, and then our leaders in the, in the Aboriginal communities don't see people standing up and they say, well, prove it. There is nobody living in our community with HIV. There were community banishments. There were people that were being told to leave their community if they came home and they were HIV positive. According to the website for the event, AIDS is about three times more prevalent within Aboriginal communities than it is within the wider Canadian population. So yeah. we have to have a specific Aboriginal response to our Aboriginal problem. This isn't anybody else's, this is our problem. We need to own this. We need to do this together, to work together in uh, eradicating HIV AIDS in our communities. Organizers are pleased with the turnout, but expect that a lot more work is still needed to reduce the spread of HIV and AIDS. Benjamin Barry, CJTV News.